Today I'm going to talk about the decorator design pattern in Ruby. The decorator pattern is a way to add behavior to an instance of a class without changing the behavior of other instances of the same class. This is sometimes called the wrapper pattern. This pattern can help add functionality for a specific use case without adding clutter and cognitive burden. This helps us to adhere to the single responsibility principle, which states that a class should only have a single reason to change. We start with a software component. We add the specialized functionality into a decorator and store an instance of the original component. Calls to the decorator are typically proxied from the decorator to the original class. Let's take a quick look at a concrete example. This class helps us to open up, write to, and close a specified file. Let's say we have a use case that involves using file writer for logging purposes. When we log, we want to prepend a timestamp at the beginning of that line. We could add a flag to the write line method for this specific use case, but let's extract this into a decorator. Our decorator class derives from simple delegator, which is defined as part of the core Ruby library. This class and its parent class, delegator, handle storing the instance of the class we are wrapping and the magic of delegating method calls to this class. Let's exercise our code in IRB. Let's take a look at the log file contents. One of the handy tricks with decorators is that we can chain several together to compose functionality. Let's do a quick example. I put the old code on the screen for reference and added a new decorator that supports writing to the log with different levels. Let's try out the new code by wrapping the timestamp decorator, which wraps the file writer. As a Ruby project grows, there are often an increasing number of opportunities to refactor technical debt. Decorators are a nice tool to have in your toolbox when looking to break down your complex classes. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching.